about two years ago, I fell off an airplane. Now, it wasn't in the air, it was on the ground. It was the San Jose airport, and this is where they wheel the stairs up. You have to walk out the doorway and down the stairs. I'm in the back of the airplane standing, and, you know, I, I told you I'm ADD, so I'm looking all over the place. And mind you, being 6'7", I have to do the Oompa Loompa walk off an airplane. So I'm back there, and the little flight attendant, she just sees how tall I am. She yells down over everybody and gives me some good wisdom. She goes, Thor! Thor! I didn't respond to that, because I'm thinking, there's a lot of sirs here. She looks down, she goes, big guy! Everyone looks back, I think she's talking to you. I go, yes! She goes, you gotta watch your head! You're tall! Okay. And she has a good point, because in eight years of traveling the country and being on airplanes, I've taken out two exit signs and headbutted a television set. It happens the same time. I'll be talking to the person behind me as soon as I turn around. <laughs> practically knock myself unconscious. The person behind me, it's always, they always ask the same thing. Did, did, it, did it look like it hurt? Did it hurt? <laughs> Sounded like it hurt. Felt good. There's another one up there. I'm going to go for that one too. Now I step up to the little doorway. And as I get up to the doorway, the little flight attendant, she goes, Sir, have a good day. I said, you too. She goes, watch your head. <laughs> I'm watching my head. And the woman doesn't tell me there's a five or six inch thing you have to step over to get outside the doorway. <laughs> and I don't see that because I'm too busy watching my head. Now, there were two people in front of me. One of them was a business professional, but I think he had terminal professionalism. He's walking down the stairs, and man, he was the epitome of somebody who was uptight. Had a lot going on, probably. He's walking down the stairs, got a big meeting today. And I was about to change his attitude. <laughs> That's what I do. I travel around the country, and I change people's attitudes. If it doesn't work in a speech, I'll just fall on you. I'll hold you down. I had nothing to grab onto except this guy. I wrap my arms around this man. He doesn't know what's going on. He, his head is here. I'm right here, and I'm trying to steer us. And he yells, what's going on? And I said, we're falling. And we fell. And we took one other person who didn't see us coming out at the bottom of the stairs. Now, we're laying there. This is very embarrassing. And at first, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I, I don't want them to think it was me. So I get that disgusted look on my face. <laughs> I just start looking, who fell? Who fell? The guy in the suit looks at me, you did. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Attitude is a choice. And if we... <laughs> now there's a laugh I like. <laughs> I've heard a lot of them, but I've never heard one like that. <laughs> we might have to give an award out for that. <laughs> if you don't choose your attitude at the beginning of the day, what happens is you might let your environment choose it. If you got a flat tire, something goes bad, bad news, we think, well, that's the kind of day I'm going to have. It's not. Having the right attitude isn't going to stop challenges from coming your way. When you have a negative attitude or you take on the negative attitudes, the many forms of negative attitudes, such as complaining, judgmental, criticism, hate, anger, bitterness, you block progress. You block yourself 
from solutions. You block yourself from profiting yourself and other people. There are no solutions with the, neg the negative forms of attitude. You've got to be willing to choose your attitude first. Now, I didn't want these people to go on their day thinking that's the kind of day I'm going to have. I didn't want them to walk away and go, big people are going to fall on me all day. <laughs> you know how it is. You get to work and somebody, that, they just got up that morning and, you know, you're having a good day. You've chosen your attitude, but somebody else let the environment choose theirs. You walk in, Betty, how's it going today? She walks behind the counter. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not coming to the teacher's lounge ever again. <laughs> well, um, I walked over to one guy. Apparently, he must have heard my speech before. I said, sir, I'm so sorry. He looks at me and he goes, well, that was more powerful than coffee. <laughs> and then I walk over to this guy. And this guy, boy, he was a tough cookie. I said, sir, I am so sorry. And, and apology really didn't help the situation. And I'm a visual person. So I looked up and I tried to picture the whole thing happening. And then I started laughing. <laughs> it just started off as a small laugh, like, <laughs> And he gets right in my face, like it's go time. And he goes, what is so funny? And then I looked up, and then I looked at him, I said, do you want to do it again? <laughs> he looks at me and gets a half smile, he goes, man, you ain't right in the head, are you? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> We have to learn. Life is short. Laugh it up a little bit. A good, healthy attitude is having a good sense of humor. You've got to practice it over and over. Make it a choice. 